This week on Adventure Archaeology, we spend several days in the local Alabama creeks in search of lost history. We find a few pretty cool things along the way. First notable find is in this first clip, and I still honestly don't know if it's a whiskey barrel or a powder keg. Y'all let me know in the comments below. I found something. It's a barrel, it's an old barrel, whiskey barrel. He's filling to see if they might have loaded it with trash and threw it in here and see if there's any bottles in it. It's just warm, it's weird. This is a whole other environment in there. <laughs> that's part of it. That's super old wood. You can tell where the band was on it. That's cool, man. That one was down the way there. There's the ring part. Wish we could have saved that. Oh, I know. If we could have saved it, it would have been amazing. <laughs> Still to... Be able to find that in the middle yeah, of Yeah, that's been there for a hundred years. Or more. What could the barrel be full of? Oh, is that blacksmith? That almost... Look how good a shape that's in. That almost looks like it's been made by a blacksmith. Could be. And that could be extremely old. God, that's crazy, dude. That I would like to get. Oh, you can feel it? Mm -hmm. I was walking by and I spotted it and I wasn't sure if it was just a carved piece of wood that I saw and I looked down and I was like, man, that looks like a barrel. And I was like, there's no way we're gonna get it out. I should have known Clayton would be able to. <laughs> oh yeah. I can't get that lid. <clears throat> Just not moving. No. Now you can't hardly see nothing over there. Yeah, it's almost all gone. Well, there wasn't full of bottles. Wasn't full of gold. But it sure was a cool find. Check out this ink that I just found. Look at that top, how crude it is. The bottom's gone. It's pretty thin. And while he's over there finding that. You're over there finding this beers? That's what I get. <laughs> Look at the top on that thing. That's like a, uh, probably a 1880s. 1890s. Look at the seam though. I mean, it goes all the way to there, but yeah. then it looks like it's applied right there, doesn't it? Yeah. Might be old. It's screwed up. It's screwed up. Oh, right next to a probably 130 year old barrel. All right, I've got a bottle right here. Oh, it's old, huh. but it's a bit. No. That's like an 1880s beer, dude. Whoever had that whiskey barrel had that bottle too. There was a town here. I don't know that we told the history on this creek. There was a mill town here. It was established in the 1830s. And the Union Army burned it in the 1860s. I can't remember what year. But there were thousands of people at this mill town. And this is a creek that runs right through the middle of it. That's why we're finding such a wide age range of stuff. But yeah. That's, uh, that's a cool little find, though. That's a, that's a nice old one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, we missed that too. That's the funny part is, is like the sun isn't quite up today. So we walked down knowing that when we walked back up, the sun would help us and we would be going against current. So we wouldn't be de dealing with the cloud of dirt. And so far we've uncovered quite a bit. We still got a long ways to go. So let's see what else we can find. That's screw top. Nope, screw top. Ah, oh man. Modern beer. So we're on the trail of a dump. We've walked up this creek. I've been here several times. And I know there's a dump here. There's just too much good glass for there not to be. See, that's a Cherokee side right there. Okay, so there's That's Cherokee. So that's 1923. Uh, this piece right here, I don't know what it was. But this is definitely the time period we want. It says Cleveland, USA. Yeah, that was the base. It looks yep. like it was a... Uh, maybe some kind of a... Something out of Cleveland, maybe. Yeah. Maybe, a, maybe a tray, right? <laughs> A Cleveland tray. But if I had to guess, I would say the dump is either going to be right here on this side 
or right here on this side. The thing is, there's no glass sticking out of the bank, but there's enough of it down here in the bottom that somebody either threw it down there while trying to dig or it got thrown in there on accident while they were dumping here. So it's definitely piqued my interest enough so for us to hike back in here and see what else we could find. It's been a little over a year since I've been here. Since EA has his waiters, we're gonna let him go ahead of us. By the way, if you're not subscribed to Exploring Alabama, be sure to go check him out. He's doing the recon today and I'm wearing the cancer shoes. <laughs> uh it's funny but it's not funny i heard some kind of critter run up this bank right here underneath the kudzu i really want to walk in this stuff there's actually a graveyard right up there and this is all the water that kind of runs through the graveyard and i know it sounds disgusting but i just don't want any of those graveyard juices on me let's see what this is to together guys there's a bottle right here Pull out. Nope, not a beer. It's a nice. It's an older one. It's thick, ain't it? Yeah, it's pretty it's thick. Super thick. Nothing at the bottom yet. Surprisingly, there's nothing on it, but uh, I See, mean, I it's. I wouldn't have drank out of that with the top being shown. <laughs> but oh, well. that could ready? could have been a Bluto water. Could have been something like that. All it's right. a good sign, though. Not sure how, but we walked over this horseshoe on the way in. Another really good sign to the age stuff that we're looking at i just found the bottom to a straight side coke back there which would have been a fantastic bottle lots of little iron pieces starting to pop up right in this area you can see that old bolt right there pretty neat though there's no telling what's on these banks we're gonna have to wait till winter though mosquitoes are terrible and the snakes are even worse so let's get back out on the main water see what's down there oh hang on what's that oh let's look at that whole cream something USA I don't know if any of you guys that know more about this ceramic ware than me know that company let me know because I do not know about that there's some more glass right there that was a kick up wine bottle so that would have been the bottom that's where it would have kicked up at and that's a knee high bottom I can tell by that checkered pattern that's there so much stuff here. There we go. The first mostly complete corker of the day. After hiking up through the woods, we went up the ditch and then came back out on the main stream. We're probably gonna walk upstream a little ways and fight this cloudy mess that we've created. Oh, hold on. Oh, what do you see? Oh, you got a golf ball. It's not a complete day without one of those, right? There looks like that might be a Dr. Pepper. That is a 7-Up. You're right. Yep. 10, 2, and 4 Dr. Pepper from Op, Alabama. All right. Here's the car part for you guys. That is a flex plate. 2, 4, 6-bolt pattern. Looks like it's got a 168 tooth gear on it. That's going to be a Chevrolet. Argue with me in the comments. Tell me it's something different. That's a Chevrolet, though. I'm telling y'all. All right, let's keep going. Under the city we go and through the tunnel. Wouldn't be a full creek hunt without a tunnel. I don't feel as good not having my waders on walking through these areas that are well populated. I will say that. Hey, yes, it's real. Hey. Oh my goodness, dude, look how big it is. There you Look go. at that beast. Oh God, that is real. Yeah, it's real. It's, it's Holy down crap. Oh, it's not on my name as a rock. Look Holy at that cow, dude. Right there. Dude, you killed it. Whoa. Holy or that killed it. Smokes. <laughs> dude, that is cool, man. I bet I get this thing firing again. It looks like it will. I bet you can get a serial number off that one. Oh, I'm wrong. I'm wrong. That clip right there pops out and it shoots pellets. Oh! <laughs> oh, it's a pellet gun. Oh, it got me too, man. If I get it cleaned off, 
Let me clean off. Yeah, there's where it breaks open. Let me clean yeah. it up a little bit more. That's still cool there. Yeah, that's where the CO2 cartridge goes. Dang it, I thought I was in the zone on that it's one. It's heavy as one, too. Well, that Coke's just laying here just as pretty as can be. It's a patent office. And it's from Aniston. Oh, that's a common one. There's a lot more glass right here in this spot. Set this down right here and get it on the way back. Let's see what that side panel is. Too thin. Right up underneath this railroad right here. Looks kind of deep. Well guys, I've successfully gave myself a heart attack. This is definitely a first for the channel. I saw a bottle and I reached to grab it and it moved. It wasn't a bottle. It was a turtle. <laughs> and it literally gave me an absolute heart attack. That was insane. I need to be using the grippers instead of my hands. <laughs> Good thing it wasn't a snapping turtle. It was just like a little box turtle, but oh man, it was enough to get my heart pumping. All right, here's a bottle. Looks like it's gonna be a type of ketchup. We're gonna wash it off and take a look though. And that's exactly what it is. That is a big old ketchup. Early screw top. That is definitely in the age range that we wanted to be in to find something good though. You see that it's got the label right there embossed on it. I'm gonna take my time right here around these tree limbs. Looks like there's a can old coca-cola can there's some older trash in this brush right here so i need to just take my time slow down make sure i don't miss anything there's an old beer oh, been there for a minute no engraving and it's, it's got a chip lip it's definitely an older one though it does say on the bottom r-e-i-f so that's a different style one than I typically find. Makes me want to keep going and see what else we can find though. Guys, I hope y'all enjoyed the video today. I know that we didn't find a ton, but we had a good time doing it. I'm sitting here in front of the computer editing a video now as we speak. I wanted to take a second to thank all of the members again, especially Glass from the Past and 1894 Outdoors. Y'all be sure to check out their channels. To get, I always link them at the end of the video. If you're not a member, you can hit the button right there that says join and check out the tiers that we've got. But I've had a few people before we go ask about seeing part of my collection. Well, right here above my computer, I've got some bottles. And I'll show you just a few of those real quick. We're not going to go in depth on it. Over here, these are Selma bottles. That right there is... The bottle that you saw me dig a couple weeks ago, the Barrett Drug Company from Inslee. Right behind it is a Jumbo Elephant Hutch, and I Lewis Jumbo, an Alabama Bottling Company. That's what you call a three red barrels whiskey behind it, which is pretty neat. Let's see here. These right here are all Aniston meds. So when we dug with the excavator, that's four of those meds from Aniston that we dug. J.W. Kelly, that came out of the Coke Hutch dump. That REM oil, the Remington oil, that came out of Aniston when we were digging there with an excavator, which was really neat. There's a bottle we dug a couple weeks ago, the Art Deco that I said I didn't have. The Rare Grapey Co. Large Pluto Water. That's an Alpha from Birmingham. Straight Side Coke, Straight Side Coke, Straight Side Coke, and a 1915, all Birmingham. The Cocoa Line from the Construction Dump. Nice little whiskey that I found on eBay. I actually didn't dig that one, but... Still nice to have. Y'all saw me find that one on the creek this year. Here's that laxative that I found at the Mulfords that y'all will probably see about a week before this video comes out. There's a Pepsi Cola, a Bromo Caffeine that I haven't cleaned yet. There's a Camel Bottling Works. And that's just a few that I have in here in my office. I've got stuff scattered everywhere, guys. My office is a wreck, so I'm not going to show you all of my shelves. But maybe at the end of each video, I'll tack something on like this. In either case, We'll see you guys in the next adventure.